How's it going, folks? It's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Hope y'all are doing fantastic today. I'm doing pretty good myself. Um, I slept pretty good last night. You know, staying hydrated, staying well fat, and all that stuff. Um, hope you guys are as well. Anyways, welcome back to the game. I uh, I went to Good Springs and I dropped off all that stuff in between episodes, like the Fat Man and all of the. Uh, um, the things we found by the Cazador eggs pile. And uh, I started walking this way because we had some red blips. And I was like, oh, you know what? I might as well take them out. And so I left my uh, my character here after I saved. And um, excuse me, uh, some of the uh, rad scorpions came and they went to attack me. But of course, you know, I was like off doing something else. And uh, I come back and Lily and Eddie absolutely decimate these guys and I'm just I'm just sitting here I'm not doing anything and I didn't even take a little bit of health which I think is pretty cool um, so inadvertently I think uh, we are going to stick with Lily for a bit um, I'm not sure if Eddie has a, uh, a side quest attached to them I'm assuming the Eddie my love the enclave dialogue thing uh, I'm assuming that is it Let's talk to Eddie. Beeping sounds. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I'm assuming the uh, Eddie My Love quest is the companion quest tied to Eddie. And uh, I think we already did Lily's quest with the, uh, you know, the stealth boy. Anyway, uh, in today's episode, we want to return to Red Lucy and give her the Cazador Act. At least I want to do that. Um, I'm going to look up how to start the Eddie My Love quest because there's no real, there's no real. Um, uh, actually, we can we can go back to first person now. Uh, there's no real. Uh, what is it called? Um, there's no real like dialogue or anything saying, "Oh hey," or there's no quest marker. Sorry, there's no quest marker saying, "Hey, you got to do this, got to do that." Um, which is nice for a change, but at the same time, I have no clue how to start this quest, so, you know. Hi, Red Lucy. How's it going? Welcome back, stranger. Yep, at this point, I'm not a stranger to you. I brought the casserole egg as you wanted. Good work, stranger. The thorn will nurture these eggs until their hatchlings are ready to bleed for us. Yep. Here's a compensation for your service. Um, Barter is just a little bit too shy. Pay me more, just pay me more, all right? Those are the risks of a hunter's life. Uh, a thousand caps will do. Take the eggs. I thank you, stranger. The thorn thanks you. Uh-huh. Anything else I can do to help the thorn? This is it, hunter. I've decided to grant you the opportunity to earn the greatest honor the thorn could ever expect. Death claw eggs, I'm calling it. Death yep. claws are our most precious and our most feared contenders. I want you to be the one to deliver the sacred eggs to me personally. Called it. Where can I find them? Quarry Junction. Junction is overrun with death claws, but you may stand a better chance at a nest near the Repcon test site. Repcon, really? Okay. Uh, I suppose we'll do that. Why not? Most dangerous task a hunter could face. Oh yeah, Lily uh, can't make it down those steps. I guess. Beep. Oh no. Are we stuck here now? Lily. Oh, great. Uh, you both keep trying to go down the steps. Okay. No. Dang it. Come on. Prim went down and set the NPR rules. Some okay. Do I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> Let's walk through here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so the Repcon test site. Intriguing. I didn't even realize... There would be any sort of death claws over there. Um, yeah, so Cory Junction. Great con encampment. There's great cons over there? Okay. Well, let's head to Sloan. <clears throat> I suppose we'll head to Cory Junction. We might absolutely die, so I'm going to save as soon as I get over here. Oh, I thought I had a marker here. Oh, or... Deathwind Cavern? Hidden Supply Caves, the 
closest. Yeah, near the Repcon test site. Okay, so over there. Um, might as well. I think Lily will uh, help us out quite a bit. Also, I gave Lily the um, the the one hammer we found. Grandma's got a present for you. <laughs> I found a uh, oh baby in that in the Night Stalker cave, so decided to give that to him. To uh, to Lily. All right, so we're going this way. Yeah, let's go left. Okay, just making sure I'm following the right marker. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this will be intriguing. Uh, I fully expect to die. I don't know. Am I gonna fight like a death claw and then a death claw queen or something? Oh jeez. That took a lot of ammo. Alright. Let's see. Good job, Lily. Ah, here we are. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Okay. I'm going to die here. <laughs> yeah. Even Lily got knocked unconscious. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we'll go to the Repcon test site. Yeah. I think we'll... I think I think we'll go over there. Here we are, almost at Walking Box Cavern. Oh, no. Wait, no. Sorry. Wrong place. Uh, Dead Wind Cavern. This is the other place with the Deathclaw eggs. I figured Quarry Junction was a bit too difficult of a loca uh, locale. So, you know, might as well uh, take a few shots up here while we can. And I don't know where they're running to. They're not running away. That's for sure. Oh, okay. I guess. All right, well, this gun's not doing too much. We need a better one. Um, Let's try cowboy repeater. More ammo for that one, too. Nope. This is definitely not the case. No, not that gun. Rat Slayer, no. Let's use... Mm, I wouldn't say Power Fist. Um, let's try... No, Pulse Gun wouldn't do anything. Um, maybe Maria... With a lot of ammo for that. Honestly? That's not terrible. Okay. I think I'm going to head inside with Maria. Nice, right, my weapon. And uh, Lily can charge after me all ominously. All right, let's go ahead and save real quick. <clears throat> Spent a bit walking over here. So. Oh, jeez. Oh jeez, I'm gonna, yeah. I saw that a split second too late. Okay. This is gonna be fun. This is going to be fun. Alright, let me try some real quick. Let's try... Ah, uh, we don't have a lot of ammo for that. We could try the power fist. I doubt it's gonna do anything.
<laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, we might just need to take these uh, death claws out later. Speed run. <laughs> run, 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 run. Gotta get the eggs, gotta get the eggs. I don't know where I'm going. Nope, not that way. Go down this way. <laughs> run! 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 I'm gonna die here. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, yeah, we, um... We will definitely have to save this quest for later. Okay. Yeah, let's just back out of here. Let's leave. Sorry, Red Lucy. It's just taking a while. Um, what do we do now? Alright, I'm going to do some research on Eddie, my love. Apparently, it's something with uh, audio logs. So, Dr. Henry... Oh, actually, hold on. We can we can just go to Dr. Henry in Jacobstown. Might as well try and trigger it there. Is there something else I can do for you? Yeah, you're a scientist? Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Mm, canine neuroscience? Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. You were with the Enclave? Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Hmm. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. Log playback, continue. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Dang! Okay. Well, that is the first part of Eddie, my love. Apparently, I have to wait five days, so I'll see you guys then. I'm just gonna take a quick snooze on over here. Uh, what the? I... Oh, okay, um, I I was on that side of the the gate, um, with the, you know the the tops casino and everything. Um, I saw a Brahmin just running through here, and an NCR soldier was chasing after it. But I walked through here, and there's 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 nothing. Uh, I don't know what in the world happened. Uh, maybe that's like a random encounter or event. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, here we are. Um, I was looking at the list of uh, people who can trigger the second audio log for Eddie, my love. Probably would have never found these uh, just playing on my own. So I figured just you know, might as well look it up, try to avoid as many spoilers as possible. And uh, there's a lot of people on this list. I'll be honest. I don't know most of them. I can't do most of these. Um, there is one, however. It says, speak to Michelangelo about his inspiration. And, you know, I, uh, I figured if that's not Michelangelo, then, um, well, then I don't know. Hello? No, you're a traveler. Okay, we got the door over here. Let's head on inside. These are two words, keep in mind. Hello, Kate. Uh, uh, hello. Hi, what can I do for you? Who is Michelangelo? 
He's the reason the strip shines like a star at night. Mike's imagined and built every sign, billboard, and light you'll see around here. Where can I find him? Check out the back of the shop. He's usually working there. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Well, this door kind of blends in with the wall. All right, so we need to find him in the back of the shop. Oh, over here, maybe? Hello? Hello. No. Nope. Assistant. Hello. Oh. Hello, I am Michelangelo. How can I... Uh... Wait, are you here to deliver more billboard requests? Please tell me you're not a messenger on behalf of Mr. House. <laughs> I am curious to see what this says. Speech 40, lie. Of course I act on behalf of Mr. House. Why else would I be here? I am sorry. Meant no offense. The billboards are not ready yet. Please, I need more time. More materials. I don't want to extort him. Relax, I was just kidding. What's all this fretting about Mr. House? You were, really? I'm oh, sorry, my controller just moved. Okay, for a moment I thought you were gonna tighten my screws. Like everyone else around here. Nah, I'm not here for anything like that. Who are you? <laughs> That's great to hear, really great. I'm Sheldon from Vault 21. Although here I go by my artistic name. Michelangelo. So what brings you here? An artist. Rare thing you see. What's your story? Well, I... Uh, not much, really. Vault 21 was my home. My dear home. I left it to explore the outside world. At first it was a marvel to behold. My inspiration flowed true and its works caught Mr. House's attention. And that's how I ended up in this place sounds as if you don't like this place what's wrong with it no oh, i guess you're having trouble with mr house's requests what's your problem it's this place my inspiration ebbs and i don't know how to stop it oh, i can't feel the warmth anymore sounds as if you don't like the place what's wrong with it i feel haunted by something terrible working in such a huge workshop often makes me shiver I can't even leave the strip. So is the fear of the outside world draining your inspiration? Yes, I think so. But please, uh, keep quiet about it. Without inspiration, I'm as good as a tumbleweed drifting in the barren wasteland. Oh man, we are so close with that. I'm gonna use a medicine skill book. Wait, hold oh, on. What do you want? Yeah, tell me your story again, but let me let me use a magazine first. Hold on. Let me just rummage through my pip boy here real quick. Hold on. Do I seriously not have a medicine? Dang. We really don't, huh? Wow. Um, this is awkward. <laughs> Do I need to find one of these now? Dang, really? All right, I'll be, I'll be back. Hold your horses, Michelangelo. Dang, this one quest has me going all over the place. First, I need to go to the strip to look for Michelangelo. Then I have too low of a medicine skill, so I need to go to whatever this place is to get a medicine skill book. <laughs> It's like the mesquite something crater, I think. Anyway, I need to go inside there. The mesquite mountains crater. Yeah. So yeah, this place heavily irradiated. Um, probably gonna die here soon. We'll definitely need to see a doctor about radiation. If, uh... You know, if it doesn't kill me before I actually get in and out of here. Anyway, we have to go inside Hell's Motel, apparently. And before I die, Dr. Rotson. Huh. Okay, I'll take that. Whoa, what the? Crazed Mr. Handy? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, we need to find a medicine skill book. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay. How much is this gonna raise our medicine? Real quick. Come on. DC Journal of Internal Medicine. Plus four. Good. And then, yes, we have 55. Solid. Okay, we're leaving now. Can we fast travel while we're taking radiation? Yes. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then let's remove our marker, and let's head back to the strip, and then, uh, I'll meet you guys back when I'm at, at Michelangelo's again. This has been a very fun detour. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can't have a round oh, two in this conversation. Tell me about your story again. I am sure. Live in Vault 21? Tell me about that. Most people don't uh, understand what it means to grow up in a vault. It's corridors, it's walls, radiate a warmth that feels safe, honest. But here, everything is huge and threatening. It's so empty that I think one of these days I'll just snap. Do you know Doc Mitchell? You mean Mitch? Oh, it's been ages since I've heard the name. My sister and I used to call him Mole Butt. <laughs> Don't ask. That was a long time ago, before we exchanged the warmth of our home for the thin air of the wasteland. We've already been there. Uh, yeah, okay. Medicine 55. You exhibit clear symptoms of acute agoraphobia. I can help. Ah, an educated fellow. Now that is almost as rare as artistry. So, how can you help me regain my inspiration? Please don't be a higher... Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, please don't be a higher, like, medicine. We just barely got that. Psychoanalysis. Oh, jeez. I could ask you out into the wasteland. It's not so bad. Thank you for the offer, but I think I really can't go to see... Wait a minute. I know, I don't have to necessarily be there to see it. <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, yes, that's it. I have a camera. It is old, but it should work. Perhaps you could bring me images of inspiring landmarks. I'll help you. Do you have any landmarks in mind? I've always wanted to see the dinosaur and its thermometer sign at Novak. Then there's the famous Bison Steve sign. The McCarran Airfield and the Helios One Power Station signs are of much interest to my work. Like the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters bottle. Okay, you got a deal. I'll return with the pictures. Thank you. I really can't thank you enough for this. Please, get me all the pictures. I'll compensate you accordingly. Oh, and if you need more camera film, then just come back and I'll get it for you. Again, thank you. Download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Continue. Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the DuraFrame iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Uh. Was that it? So Poseidon Energy, we need to... We need to... Okay, so playback to begin. Navarro Outpost Scientist. Okay, continue. Please handle this information with the utmost care. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Okay, so talk to. Nothing's... Nothing's changed there. So playback log one and log two. Let's, uh, let's see what the quest says, shall we? Log off. Check the quest. Some enclave log data store that's triggered by some keywords. Yeah, we've already already done that. Okay. Uh, I guess I guess we'll wait. Um, in the next episode, we'll work on classic inspiration.
this will be interesting. I'm curious to see... Actually, let's go to Helios 1 real quick, just because I want to see... Excuse me, Lily. I want to see how this whole thing works. Why do you look like you're about to ambush an enemy outside that doorway? <laughs> yeah, let's head to Helios 1, just because I know where that location is. And, uh... Yeah, let's see how this works. I am curious to see how we can take a picture of the sign. Alright, so Helios 1 should be down this way. Uh, past Nipton, up here, and then Novak, Helios 1, there we go. Yeah, very, very intriguing. I don't know how this will work. Okay, so the Helios 1 sign there. Do I need... Um, do I need to hold Kodak R900? Huh. Interesting. Take a picture of the Helios 1 sign. Hey. Say cheese. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess we'll work on that further in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.